Uh, here as you can see uh, this alternator coil we are going to install in this bike uh, first we have to remove this point from this scattering point we are going to remove uh, because there is no more space for this one um, as uh, this bike is going to be converted in CDI so this point had been come off like this uh, we will discard this point uh, because this will be no more needed as you can see this was um, snug on this one screw this one screw we have to put it back so if in future we will need it it will be ready not for the point but for some other purpose if we will need this screw this will we will we would be able to remove it from here and then now what we are going to do is we are going to remove these two screws to fix this coil over here uh, for the coil fixation as I said that for this coil preparation actually well, you should watch my, my other video how this coil is wind and uh, there is a way uh, how to wind this coil this is custom uh, made coil for uh, this bike the core is original one but the winding is my custom one uh, so you can refer this that video for the uh, preparation of this coil now what we have to do is we should have to fix this coil these two connections the we will bring off of this magneto and this one connection we will fix it over here on the ground this will be grounded so this would be some way like this because as you can see here are the screw marks so we will fix it by this way as the original uh, fixation was some way like this so for this purpose we have to create a round shape eye on this wire some way like this and then uh, very very much thin um, washer we should have to use to fix this there is one washer over here also this is for the screw and this uh, other washer which we are going to fix it this will be for the grounding of this wire so this way we have to put it in like this and should take care that the wire should not go inside the core it should be like this and the other thing is the consideration which should be is this insulation this milder insulation we have to bring it off this should not come in the underneath so that it will create problem with the grounding it will be like this and then with our screwdriver we have to fix the screw the downside screw we have to fix it first and then the upper screw we will fix next so some way like this we just snug it it, it, it is not tightened yet but it is snug so the other screw also I have to put it in we will have to snug it and then we will tighten it later on and then the other thing is we have to tap it a little bit so that it will be in perfectly and the magneto or the magnet will rotate on the top and it will not touch to these coils so a tapping is required so that it will be in perfectly this is the requirement because the magnet will rotate on the top and during its function they should not come off so somewhere like this now we should have to check whether this is grounded properly or not the way is we should have to grab our multimeter it is easy we should have to go for the continuity and these two wires not for the continuity but for the ohm but even continuity is working as you can see in my case continuity is there with the ground with the body I mean some resistance it is showing of course the resistance will be because resistance is there in the winding and this one wire also it is showing okay so these two wires just we will bring them off underneath under the under this uh, ring we should have to bring them off as you can see just both wire I brought them off here here we will connect uh, this wire as I said that just I have to focus the camera a little bit just I said that 
we will use this purple wire first and this one we will not use we will see if the purple wire will serve our purpose we, this will be our wire uh, this will be our loop or uh, whatever the connection for the CDI uh, but if it, it will not serve then we will go for the other black one because the black one will have more voltage than this purple one will mm, so here we are going to connect it and here I'm just going to show you this is the wire which is coming off coming from this red wire this red wire actually this is going to this way we will have to ensure it by multimeter we are going to check it so that we should not mistakenly miss it as you can listen the beep this is the wire these are the two wires so this is the wire which will bring the voltage from the magneto to the CDI so here we will have to solder this we are going to solder it because soldering is good the jointing will be perfect only twisting is not good proper soldering will do the work properly and there will be reliable connection in between reliability is required because uh, we are not uh, wanting something like uh, the bike should not start sometimes and sometimes it is erratic this this is not the requirement the requirement is it should be very very much perfect so as you can see we just melted the soldering wire on and it soldered perfectly now the sleeve I'm going to put it on and here I'm putting it inside like this yeah some way like this the other wire we will secure it of course we will put tape on over here and then uh, this one these connections we will make so the other thing is now what we have to do is we have to put the magneto on for the magneto this is the key the key will go here the key will go here on this shaft so this this way will be put on will be put on the key somewhere like this and then there is a groove for the key over here uh, that we will make it like this okay so the magnet is now on and now is the time to fix this washer and then we'll put this nut on and we will securely tight this nut I will use my 19 millimeter socket to tight this okay so now is the time uh, to fix this thing this is what is the pulse coil pulse coil we will fix it on the top of the magnet and pulse coil has two connections I will just show you in a little moment while I will fix it then I will show you so the pulse coil will come over here so this winding will go this wire will go some way like this the magneto CDI wire which is taking power from the alternator to the CDI here this one we will remove this con this bolt or this screw from and then we'll put one washer on one washer which I created for this purpose uh, so what we have to do is we have to fix this back the screw and of course the pulse coil we will put put on and I will show you how to fix this thing and just a little bit alignment is required I will show that that is important so by this way we just fixed it and now you can see this magnet this small magnet and while it will pass in front of this pulse coil this will induce a pulse in so this should be some way that it should not touch to the magnet it should be close enough but it will not touch to the magnet while it will rotate so tight it secure it in this place and here we will press it a little bit so that the cover will be fixed properly so this was the way we fixed it and now the wires we will bring it in perfect order something like this there are two wires from the pulse coil just I'm going to show you this black wire and here underneath is the blue wire so these will go to the top and there we will terminate them here is that blue wire which is coming this blue wire which is coming off 
this uh, from this uh, pulse coil and this blue wire and the black wire of course as you can see this is the black wire and we put it on the ground so these are the connections and now we will connect the CDI